um, uh, what is the millionaire mindset? It's, it's a mindset of, number one, it's a mindset of confidence. Yep. Not being an intimidator, a bully, a braggart. Right. You, you show me a guy who's standing in front of his jet or driving around in a Bentley. Uh, that to me is guru bullshit. Okay, that's not a millionaire mindset. That's trying to impress people to show them how much you have because you're so damn insecure. <laughs> I think there's a picture of me standing in front of a new Cadillac uh, 25 years ago, by the way. So to, just to be transparent. Um, but my thinking has evolved and changed. I think the millionaire mindset is that you're entitled to be compensated for your hard work, the value that you give people, the problems that you solve. You're entitled to be compensated. I get a lot of people and I say, what is your goal? First question I always ask, Guts is a question-based system. And I say, what is your prior, what is your goal? And I always know I'm gonna have trouble when they say, well, I just wanna help people. I just wanna give back. Uh, I, you know, I didn't, you know, and that's fine. I listen, my wife and I give a lot back. We write, we give a lot to the organizations we believe in, and we do a lot of voluntary, but why are we in business? Make money. When? Today. You left out Make the most important today. word. Make money today. Get commitments today. Get contracts today. Get appointments today. Millionaires, uh, millionaires know they might, they will die someday. And they don't waste a mint a life. I fire people all the time because they're not ready to do business, or they're trying to manipulate me, or I ask very straightforward questions like a doctor would. Where does it hurt? Well, I don't know. It hurts in different. No, that's not the answer. Why are you here? Why does it hurt? Where does it hurt? When did it start hurting? You need to know this information if you're going to treat the patient. When I get someone who obfuscates, changes the subject, or doesn't answer directly. I know that's somebody I need to fire. They won't, they're, they're being uh, guarded, jaded, and not giving you their true uh, true answers, right? You just, you just gave the different definition for obfuscation. Because yeah, okay. I didn't know I that word. I like honest, direct dialogues with people. Okay, I wanna help them. I wanna solve their problem. And if I'm giving up time in my life, from my knowledge and my experiences, are, am I entitled to be compensated for that time to, so I can take care of my family and my responsibilities? Am I entitled to that? Yes. That's a millionaire mindset. This is really good. This is a really good conversation. You know, also what I was thinking about the millionaire mindset is that they're like you said, that guy in the boardroom, he was getting ready to walk out. You have to have that ability to say this deal is over i mean i don't care if it's over or not and if you have that i don't care attitude there's a fine line there i know but you have to have that ability to just blow it up and walk out the door and millionaires are like oh well i'll just go find another client i got yeah. plenty of money i'm not needing this yeah i work really hard at my business i study i read i learn every day uh, I get to help people all over the world. I love what I do. Uh, I'm richly compensated for it. And I'm, I'm grateful for it. I don't, I don't take anything for granted. There were days in my life I didn't know how to pay the rent. Okay. Uh, and I, I'm glad, I, I'm almost glad I had those experiences, those very stressful money experiences. Okay. I hope you haven't had them, but I have. And where you're worried about paying bills and things like that. And you've got some sick parents and they have medical bills and you got all this responsibility and you got a family and, and things come up that you, you know, and you have that stress. And the most wonderful thing in the world is when you have control. That's part of the millionaire mindset too. You have a semblance of control of your life. You know that I know, you know, my definition of success. I say this all the time. Do you know what it is? No. It's in, my, it's in my books. It's one of the most important sections. It's you can take, you be, have a millionaire mindset when you know that you could lose everything, houses, cars, boats, money, savings, everything. But if you're healthy and you can get to a phone, you can be back on top again in 30 days or less. And when I say on top, I mean a one percenter. I mean, make more money in a week than most people make in a year that's when you get a millionaire mindset. 
And it, it, I guess it comes, what you're saying, it comes with, with practice. It comes through hard work. It comes through uh, overcoming. Yeah. And you don't just pick it up today. It, it's something that you, you develop over time. Oh, yeah. It's, it's somebody who, uh, I, was, I wasn't prepared for this conversation, so I'm going to do a little, little work here to prepare a prop here. Okay. There's something I always have not by my desk, but if you can tell, I'm on a treadmill right now. Okay. Um, when someone starts giving me all the excuses, and I'm not saying they're not justified, many of them. Okay. Um, a little rain falls in everybody's life. When someone starts giving me the excuses, oh, this happened, that happened. Claude, you don't understand. My parents, my friends, my boss, the weather, God, I, what, my lawyer, my wife's lawyer. Okay. That's when I get these out. That's the boo. <laughs> boo Nobody cares. Nobody. Listen, if you're, if you're looking for excuses, there's plenty of them out there. Go to the bathroom mirror, have a conversation with yourself. But the bottom line is, it's not going to get you to the millionaire mindset. The millionaire no. mindset is confidence. It is the ability to get on that phone and, be, and embrace I-D-G-A-S-L. I don't give a shit, land. To do what you need to do. You're going to be rejected. Not everybody's going to like you. Some people are going to hang up on you. But if you believe in your heart and soul, you're selling something of value, something that helps people, something that's ethical, legal, non-fattening maybe. Okay, that's all right. Are there any short? Are there any shortcuts to that? I know we're talking well, about hard work and overcoming and practice experience. Yes. Is there any way to jump jump to that next level? Any shortcuts that you know of? Yeah, one word, sales. It's the million dollar skill. It's the one thing all my, com my competitors don't teach sales. They teach get rich quick. They teach strategies. They teach applications. They teach spending a lot of money on a lot of programs and things like that. But they don't teach how to communicate with another person and persuade them, influence them, convince them that you bring, that you bring value to a meeting, to a situation, to an event. Nobody teaches sales. Harvard Biz School of Business, Wharton School of Business. Do you think they have classes on sales? I mean sales, not some other word, not, not some other word or, or, or area of discussion. I mean pure talking to people, the psychology, asking questions, a system of sales. Does yeah, the art of, none the of, art of persuasion. Yes. You're talking about the art of persuasion and no one really teaches that. Nobody. And it changed my life. You want to know the one word, sales. I, I, I believe that most people uh, are decent. I don't go with all this systemic nonsense. Everybody's bad. This group is bad. This group is great. I don't believe in all that stuff. I believe most people are good. Most people I know, and I know a lot of people, they work very hard. They're, they're hardworking, decent family people. Uh, they want to give back to society. Uh, they would never hurt anybody or or a protest or do violence or anything. They're just good, hardworking people. And the thing about it is if you focus, if you have a good product or service that you believe in, or you're giving up your time. I do a lot of consulting, mentoring, coaching. I give up my time and my experiences, both good and the more valuable bad experiences. So other people avoid them. Um, that, that's sales. You've got to focus on that. Nobody, and every, you know, let me ask you a question. Uh, if you agree with me, how come none of the major colleges, business schools, none of the major gurus and programs out there discuss sales like we're talking about right now? I don't think they understand it fully. I don't think they know the secret sauce. It is the secret sauce. It is the one thing that changed my life uh, because I worked hard. I knocked on a lot of doors. I spent a lot of money on advertising. I went to a lot of seminars and gurus. I went to college. I went to law school. I did all the things that society says we're supposed to do, but nobody taught me how to persuade enough, except for my mentor, Max. I always give well, him credit. How come you think that is? Why I, do you think they don't teach it? It's hard. It takes work. It takes practice. Is it worth it? Absolutely. My life changed when I saw my mentor close somebody and made more money in one phone call than I made it a whole year at a job that I 
didn't really like. I did not like, I, I had a job, it was a three-piece suit, company car, uh, uh, you know, expense account. I was in New York City, a sale, uh, and, and I didn't like the job, okay? And it was just basically show and tell selling. Knock on a hundred doors, read your script, give the presentation, ask for the order five times or more. They'd say, yes, or I'll think about it or call me later. No control and very frustrating and emotionally draining. Then I watched my mentor get on the phone, had a ball, had fun. I have so much fun in sales. I love sales. Even when people say no to me, I learn something and I take what I learned. And I feel good about myself at the end of the day, not that drained feeling. But once I learned sales from somebody who was just a genius salesman, uh, everything changed. I learned how to ask questions. I learned how to use a three-step system, agenda, qualification, commitment to close, three steps with a lot of baby steps and a lot of questions and redirections and stroking, nurturing and empathy and positive and negative redirection and all the different techniques as psychological persuasion techniques of, um, of guts. It is the million dollar skill. Does it, is it hard? Yeah. Sorry, you got me on a soapbox here, man. This is one of my hot times. This is, I'm very passionate about it because I went from broke to having a life I'm very grateful for. Uh, uh, because, well, I, because I learned the one thing that was missing in all that education, all those business classes, all those seminars, all those, uh, all those motivational books, they didn't teach you how to sell. And how do you learn how to sell? You've got to have a system. You've got to under, understand human behavior, psychology. Why do people buy? You've got to read books like Cialdini, Dr. Eric Byrne, a little Freud, a little Jung, a little Pavlov, uh, uh, Milton Erickson. You've got to practice. You've got to be around millionaire salespeople and see what they do and how they do it. That's what I did with my mentor. Okay, and once you have that, you, you change, everything changes. I don't know how to explain it better. So, um, it, it's the missing- That's great. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's your whole system and your whole work in a nutshell, what you're just describing. That's what you're all about. I can tell by all the videos I've watched. Hey, let me let me ask you something. Um, how would you go about uh, um, orchestrating a sales call if you're calling up individuals to give a donation to the University of, of Missouri Athletic Department? What would be the the angle or the you know the you know the the approach? Would it be the same kind of thing, or would you how would you take